Hi, this is Joey Davidson, Senior Editor for Techno Buffalo's Gaming Department, and I'm here with a look at Harley Quinn's Revenge, the DLC for Batman Arkham City. Let this stand as a spoiler warning, by the way. Don't watch this if you haven't beaten the game yet. Like I said, spoiler warning in full effect. At this point, if you haven't turned it off, I'm going to assume that we're all on the same page here, and we've already beaten Arkham City or we don't care. Um, the end of Batman Arkham City, basically, the Joker dies. Uh, not necessarily at the hands of Batman, but probably because of his own stupidity. Uh, Harley Quinn, the Joker's girlfriend, love interest, whatever you want to call her, is also in Arkham City, and this the storyline of this DLC is all about you guessed it, Harley Quinn's revenge, as she blames Batman for the de death of her idol, I suppose. Where we pick up here is with Robin looking for Batman. He goes into whatever Harley's trap, uh, the trap that's been set for him, and that's basically the gist. The weird thing is that you're just kind of dropped into this without any real refresher for combat at all. Um, this group of thugs is pretty much the first you come in contact with and it's right away you're fighting uh, pretty strong dudes not necessarily this group but the group after and, and, a, and a group later on in this demo you'll, you'll be seeing snipers you'll see turrets something that uh, is new to me I suppose it's probably part of the Robin challenge maps but um, players basically aren't really led into the game by anything other than just the assumption that they remember how to play from before Okay, I did chop out a little bit there, just in case you're curious. One thing that I was kind of worried about when coming into this is that it wouldn't... This DLC, this narrative-based DLC, the first that's been released for Arkham City, uh, wouldn't do much to complement or add to the story that we had to begin with. For me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd, I'm a pretty big fan of Batman. Um, the way that Rocksteady ended... The, the, the original bits of Batman Arkham City was just perfect, honestly. Having Joker die, uh, the way that it was handled, the way that Batman responded to it, it was all just pitch perfect. And I understand that in regards to the story, Harley Quinn has every reason to be upset and that this scenario makes sense. But, and I honestly can't speak to it yet because I haven't beaten this chunk of DLC, but I, honestly, they're going to have to do something special in order to make this this story moment stand out in comparison to the other. So my fear as a gamer and a fan of the originals is that this would be nothing more than a challenge map with some narrative dialogue built over it. So far it kind of feels that way. It kind of feels like it's just a room-to-room -room challenge map with Harley Quinn and Barbara Gordon talking. For some people that's okay. Any excuse to get back into Arkham City is a good one, but for me personally, I'm, I'm someone who just loves the narrative narratives in games, and especially in, in a Batman game like this one. I just really come for the story and the combat and all the sneaking around is kind of a, a side effect of that. Probably what my fear here is that this might put a bad taste in my mouth in regards to the almost pitch perfect ending that Rocksteady had before. They're adding to their ending, and I haven't decided whether or not it's it's been worth it or executed properly. I do know that the combat is fun and I like playing as Robin, but it's nothing that I couldn't have done without the challenge maps. See, the bummer here is that as Robin in this bit of DLC, you can't go anywhere but the predetermined Harley Quinn locations. So it's not like you get Robin and are tasked with canvassing Arkham City much like Batman was. You get Robin and you're restricted to what amounts to more challenge maps, except this time they have a better narrative. Anything? 
Nothing yet. Don't sweat it. If anyone comes this way, I'll make them regret it. You better! I've lost contact with the rest of the guys and I don't like it! Eh, it's not a problem. When I kill this sucker, it'll be cool. Then... I can... maybe come to see you? What? Nothing. I mean, I'm just being friendly here. Trying to help. I'm a widow. Do you think you can measure up to my Joker? He, he was the best Joker yet. I don't understand. No, really. up? Scared to face me? I don't know who you are, but you ain't coming any... It's Robin! Alright, and as I'm about to dispatch this last big group of bad guys, um, I will let the clip play out. This is the end of the first bit of gameplay in the DLC. Uh, from here you will switch to Batman, which is what I just started on. I will say this about that, um, so far it is more Arkham City content, which is great. If you don't care about the story or, or you're, you love the fighting enough to let that kind of carry the weight, this it. is a nice opportunity Let's to kind of fight with, with an excuse, as it were. Um, just know that the training wheels have been taken off. There's really nothing to get you prepared for the combat. I don't necessarily lose here, but I do get beat up pretty badly. So Rock City created an awesome game, and, and yes, this is a great excuse to rejoin that world and kind of take it in. Uh, maybe it's not as pitch perfect as it once was, but it's still pretty awesome. It is available right now for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 platforms. You can check it out. I think it'll run you 1,200, no, 800 points on the Xbox console. So it's 10 bucks on the Xbox and PS3. Thank you guys for watching and take care. Easy, freak. Tim, what's going on? Have you found him? 